Welcome to Session Sunday. Hi guys, it's Jack Edwards and today's session is focusing around improving your team's passing. But before we get into this week's video, make sure to leave us a like and subscribe and if you missed last week's video, click on the link above. Okay, so moving into the first part of this week's session, we're going to be looking at uh, our first of three different um, patterns of play, basically what we're going to be looking at, but they're all going to be focusing on different things. So before we get into it, let's have a look at how many players we're working with and the equipment that we can be using. So this week, we've we put the group into a group of seven, okay? We can have it with groups of more, okay? If you've got, you know, a large group for training and you're going to put them into different areas, but we're just going to, for a group which is kind of in the middle of everything that we work with, okay? So we're looking at, you know, six and seven in terms of passing sequences, so it's not too much, okay? So we can be sharp, okay? But at the same time, the tempo can be really high as well and we can work on different areas of the game, okay? But we're always focusing on that speed of play, okay? And the, we're focusing on the receiving skills and our passing as well. So in terms of the equipment, Main things we're just look using this week is balls um, and cones, but also we speak about quite a lot about poles or mannequins. Okay, so if you do have them, get them in there. Okay, because it's great, it's better for the players. Okay, because they treat the most defenders. Okay, it makes it a bit more realistic for them as well. Because you know when they're standing next to a cone, okay, it's too easy to just move out. Whereas if it's a pole or a mannequin, they've got to get away and create the space. Okay, so making it more game realistic. So this first pattern we're looking at, it's just about changing angles, switching play, okay, and moving the ball quickly. So the ball's going to start here where there's two players. In terms of the setup, it's going to be 20 yards of depth, so 10 yards to here in the middle and 10 yards to the side, and then 10 yards of width. So it's not too big, so we're looking for a nice fast tempo. So the players in this area here, so these three players, they're not going to be moving where their pass goes, okay, but then these three players will be, okay, because this it, the pattern wouldn't work. So this player is going to start with the ball. So we're looking for some double movements. Okay, so that's one of the things that we're focusing on is our movement this week. So this player here is going to take a touch on the outside, which then entices this player to come out to receive. Okay, but then they're going to move back around the other way. Okay, so then this player will reverse the pass into this area. Okay, so then the player will move back around. So moving away from the opposition to obviously create space and move on to the ball. As that ball is travelling into this player's feet, this player then moves out. Okay, and we're looking for that first time pass when they meet the ball into this player's feet and then what we're looking for then is this player's created space to receive on the back foot where they then take a touch which then means that this player is going to move out and again it's going to be played to their back foot again so it's getting some pace on the pass okay so the speed of play so it's getting drilled in so it's look we switch the play and then we're penetrating forward okay this player then opens out okay which means this player can move back and then move into here okay so they're going to receive it on the run as well so when this player is moving forward that then triggers this player's movement to move out this player then passes the ball into here for, again, another first time pass into this player's feet, who opens out again and plays forward into this player. So now looking at the movements, so going from the start, when this player passes into this player in here, okay, so playing in front, they then move across, okay? So but we're obviously going to be timing it, so it doesn't have to be too quick. So by the time this player receives it and opens out and goes forward, they'll be taking their place. This player here also moves across as well, okay? So then what we're looking for is this player moves out, gets played into here, and when they take that touch, this player's taking their place, and then the player who started here moves down. So basically, they're just doing this type of shape. So it's kind of like an L a little bit. Okay, so they're starting here, into here, into there, and then across. So they're kind of just like competing, completing there and off a square. This player comes across to here, and then from this point onwards, the players follow the pass. Okay, so then this player who plays the diagonal pass for the player to meet on the run follows their pass across, the player who plays in first time into here, they follow their pass, okay? And then this player takes their touch, plays into the player at the start, and then they follow their pass. So we'll go through it once more. This player opens out, that movement, so towards the ball, a way to create space to receive it. This player comes back round. Then this player, bang, plays up into there and then moves away. So it's in a game as well, creating more space. So this player's coming across, this player opens out, Plays into here and then moves down the ball. Okay, so back down to where the balls came from. This player's moving across. This player's moving across. This player moves out. Okay, we get that run into space, which triggers this player. We play in. First time pass into here. So then all these players are following their pass. Okay, so they're moving up. They're moving up each time. And then this player opens out, plays to the star player. 
and then goes to the back. Okay, so you can maybe try and change it after a certain time and the play can start this side instead and you can just be going the opposite way. So it'll be here to there to there, open out and go across. So the movements will be the same, but just be working obviously off the other side instead. So we're looking for that, obviously that fast tempo, good first touch, the ability to play first time and then our movements to receive. So then disguise runs so then receive in space as well. We will now move into our first animation before moving on to part two of this week's session. Now moving into part two of this week's session, when I'm moving into our second pattern. Okay, this time we're going to be focusing on moving the ball high to then get our runs from wide areas, okay, in behind to then, as if we're playing forward. So in terms of the setup, we're going to have 30 yards, okay, total depth. You can make it bigger if you want to as well, but to start off with, okay, we want the tempo being high, so obviously we want the players to get used to the uh, surrounding areas as well, so we're not going to make it too big. Um, so we're going to have from the start point here to this middle one is going to be 10 yards, further 10 yards to this player here, and then further 10 yards to this player here. These poles here are just going to be a couple of yards either side, not too far because obviously the players have got to make sharp movements. In terms of the width, it's going to be 20 yards across, so it's 10 yards from this wide player into the centre and 10 yards there. And then these players here again, it's just a couple of yards either side, so it can be maybe three or four yards maximum, okay, because we don't want them after them to move too far because we want the play to be quite sharp. So the play is going to start in here. The play is going to, alt going to alternate this as well. So it's going to be played in. So this play comes in short a little bit. And it's going to get played across. As that player plays across, they're then going to move out to that side. Okay, to receive it on the back foot. Okay, so it's sharp movements, creating space. As this player receives that ball, this triggers the other player to move to the opposite side. Okay, so we're playing forward diagonal passes. The players are just following their passes really. So this player is going to make their way up here. This player then plays the ball for this player to open out <clears throat> and then they will follow their pass and then this player plays into this area here. They open out there, so whatever side this player is coming from, okay, they go the opposite way. So basically, the f where, wherever the first player receives it, that wide player will then receive. So we're just going to alternate each side, this means the player's got to focus and concentrate on where the ball, ball is coming from. So these players will have moved up and then this player begins to move up. When this player takes a touch out, okay, so as the ball's traveling towards them, this player wants to angle the, the movement out here. As they take the touch forward, start to move in behind, and then it gets played in front, okay, to take a touch into space, and then play into this player here. This player follows their pass here, so they come wide, and then this player plays high. So the next time the ball will come in, this player's made the way back, it's opened out this way, play in the middle comes short, one, two, Okay, at the same time they're moving. As this player goes to receive it, this player moves out. Okay, it's opening out. Okay, so it's getting that ball and punching the ball forward quickly. Okay, so into midfield, into wide areas, into attack midfielders. Players are following their passes. This player then goes to open out. As the ball is coming towards this player here, this player begins to move out. We open out. Okay, and then we're playing through. Okay, so it's as if, it's as if we're playing high. Okay, we have the ability to play wide as well, so it's that, those diagonal forward passes and then that creating space to play forward, so into your wide areas, okay, so maybe your fullbacks on the run to get in behind and support the attack in this area here, punching the ball from midfield, higher up the pitch into players, you know, even in the half space, taking up those positions in between uh, the defence and midfield as well, so being confident to play through the lines and obviously, and then also being able to play through into wide areas to get the ball forward and then move quickly and then we just carry on again. So again, it's, it'll come back to this side, so it's one, two, player moves out into space, receives it, okay, this triggers that player to move out into this area here. We're following our passes, so it's nice, quick intensity. As you can see, we're taking minimal touches, okay, so that ability to play first time, that tempo's high, our, as you can see, our receiving skills, so then we can make that running behind, keeping the game realistic by using them poles and them mannequins if we can, and then in this area here, driving into space and then playing forward. We will now move into our next animation before moving on to the final part of this week's session.
Okay, now moving into the final part of this week's session, we're moving into our final pattern. So what we're gonna be looking at now is a third man run, okay? So it's gonna be at behind the shoulder, so as if we're gonna be going behind the defense to then move forward. Okay, so in terms of the setup, we're gonna have 35 yards of depth. So it's gonna be 15 yards from this pole here to the center, and then 20 yards to the top. Okay, so in, in terms of this one here, the pole here can be halfway to so about seven, eight yards, and this, this pole here is just gonna be a couple of yards off, so two or three yards. This pole here will be about 15 yards off, so the player's got five yards to maneuver into. And then this one will be a couple of yards off that as well. So you're probably looking from there to there, about 12 yards, from here to there, about 15, and then there is 20. In terms of the width, it'll be the same. It'll be about 20 yards, okay? So this is your end point, okay? So there's 10 yards into there and 10 yards into there. You can give a little bit more leeway for this player out here because we're wanting them to get into space. So the player is going to start with this player here. They're going to take a touch out here which when we spoke about in the first drill, we're gonna be doing a double movement. So it entails, it entices this player to come into this area, but instead they're gonna spin off into here. Okay, so then when they receive it here, this player is gonna move out into space and this is gonna start triggering this player. As that ball travels towards this player here, because once this player has made contact, they're gonna spin off into this area to follow their pass. And then this player here is gonna move off the shoulder, okay, so taking that space to then receive it, so we've played through, okay, and they're, they're going to play first time as well, so this player moves in behind, okay, to receive it in space as well. So, in terms of the movements, they're going to move, basically moving like across, like a diamond here, okay, so the player who starts moves across here, the player who passes to this player moves up to here, the player who's set back moves out to there, and then this player follows his pass. This player then dribbles towards his pole. As they turn, we want this player to do a double movement, so it's going back, to come short, so they're coming in here to then set the ball as the player comes around the pole, get themselves into space, and then we're playing through into space, okay, so then we're moving forward and then playing back to the start for the same to happen again. This player will receive it, take it out here, that double movement, so bang, get out to that side, disguise the run into here, set it, so we want it to be sharp, so that's set and get out, which lets this player come into space to receive it who then plays forward, so it's as if we're like playing the ball from like a wide midfielder, a full back, a mid, you know, a central midfield ro um, role into like a player making a run, okay, into, you know, in between the lines, you know, in behind some opposition, okay, so then they're going to play forward again to another player on the run, <clears throat> our players are following their passes, okay, and then this player here receives the ball, drives into space, and then what are we looking for? We're then looking for the sharpness in here, so it's there to get in behind. So then this could be your wingers, your fullbacks, your forwards, getting the ball and then going forward in here. Okay, our players then following our passes. You can even, if you do have goalkeepers and you're looking to introduce it into a finishing session, when the ball gets into this area here, so we can add this there, do that movement. Okay, played into there, it's set back to the player who moves. Once this player plays into here, it can be that this player times a run in behind a defence and they go in and score. So you have less players or you just want to make it into a finishing type of setup, okay? That's how you can do it. Getting that run from midfield to receive it, you know, in, um, breaking the lines, playing a penetrating pass, okay, in behind a defence for this player to maybe you can even have an offside line here to receive it, go in and then score. Okay, so it's obviously we're trying to improve our speed of play and our passing, which we can obviously take into game scenarios. So we're trying, trying to get into wide areas, breaking the lines, our midfield, our, our midfield runs, our fullback runs, being confident in playing out from the back, being confident in receiving the ball and playing first time. So there's lots of different aspects that we're trying to improve, but the main thing is our speed of play and then our passing ability as well. We will now move into our final animation before concluding this week's session. Thanks for watching this week's video. Don't forget to head over to our website where you can sign up to view all of our exclusive content. And we'll see you next week for another Session Sunday.